For AM Best TV, I'm Diana Dorohy at the 15th Singapore International Reinsurance Conference. And joining me now is Christy Lee, Director Analytics at AM Best. Christy, great to see you again. Nice to see you again. What are the major changes or adjustments in AM Best's rating methodology? We updated the methodology about a year ago, and um, essentially there's um, no change in our methodology but we just put it in a more structured and more transparent way, helping our clients and the market to understand how we um, come up with the rating. And so over the year, I think um, the market uh, well received the methodology update. Um, it helped them to understand our thought process. And in addition, we have updated our BCAR model. Um, in the new BCAR model, we um, look at the excess capital um, available uh, compared to the available capital in five confidence level. And um, our clients, um, we keep telling our clients that, um, you know, BCAR is very important, but um, actually BCAR is, doesn't equal to your rating and BCAR um, is also um, doesn't equal to the balance sheet strength assessment. So throughout the process, I think um, one key message that we, we, we bring to the market is out of the four major building blocks, um, the balance sheet strength, operating performance, business profile, and ERM, um, there is no single building blocks that will determine the rating. So for any company, such as even a small company with limited business profile, if they have favorable operating performance and um, robust capitalization, it's still possible for them to get a high rating. Which building blocks do you see emerging as a potential drag on ratings in uh, Northeast Asia? This year we have published three non-like market, uh, market outlook and for Korea and Japan um, we have published stable outlook for these two markets. Obviously they are facing different challenges. For Korea, companies are uh, um, working on getting ready and be prepared for the upcoming regulatory changes on KICS and IFR 17. And for Japan, this year there are a series of catastrophe events. Um, we believe that the companies, um, this will be an earning event to primary companies, but um, as primary companies has appropriate reinsurance structure as well as um, um, robust capitalization level. So we believe they will be able to absorb the losses. And on the other hand, uh, for China, early this year in May, uh, we published negative market outlook. Um, it's based on um, squeezing underwriting margin in China. And um, in the second half of the year, we also see um, like challenging investment environment. As the market um, bottom line is highly dependent on investment return, we're expecting um, um, the earnings also will be squeezed this year in China. Christy Lee, many thanks for your insights. Thank you very much. For AM Best TV, I'm Diana Dora here at the 15th Singapore International Reinsurance Conference.